I'm Michael Lee, and thank you for watching, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Michael Lee, aka Just Michael. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. I love the studio. It's super, super Isn't nice. it great? Yeah. It's so fun to be here. It really is. Okay, so there's a challenge that's been going on. I don't know if you've ever done this, where you call, you FaceTime someone, and you're like, sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm busy. Have I did. you done that? Yeah, I have. Well, can we, <laughs> can we try it to someone that maybe you haven't heard from in a while? Let like maybe, me. Maybe we'll play like a little roulette, like who will pick up if they'll okay. FaceTime you or okay. not. What up, though? Hey, hey, bro, I, I gotta talk to you later. I'm, I'm in an interview right now. Oh, man, you're not doing this to me right now. There's no way you're doing this. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play a quick little game. If I could spend a day with any artist, dead or alive, it would be. Mm, it'd be Justin Bieber. Justin cool. Bieber. Him or, him or Michael Jackson. My guilty pleasure is. Naruto, or anime. 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 Got yeah. it, got it. Love it. So you have been busy. Very busy. Very, very busy. Very busy. Uh, well, you're, you've been keeping this offline, but you have the big fight coming up. People do know about that. What can you tell me about the fight and preparing for it? What have you been doing? I'm, I'm just excited to show you guys what I've been doing. Obviously, I've been a lot less active on social media, but it's for a reason. And you guys will see that um, the week of the fight and, you know, a few weeks after the fight as well. Because, uh, yeah, just uh, a lot of low-key things. I'm very excited, though. <laughs> who are you going up against again? Uh, FaZe Jarvis. Okay, so is there, like, a rivalry between you guys? Is he, like, talking crap? Yeah, like... you know, so I had this whole thing happen where I was... Because I'm not, I'm not, like, a beefy type of person. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, like, kind of... My, my brand's clean. I'm, as a person, I, I don't like drama and stuff. But um, I was just trying to fake beef. I was just trying to, you know, like, that's what social media is. It's, it's entertainment, you know? I, I'm, I, I like to just make content, whether it's planned out or not, you know? Yeah. So um, he made a whole YouTube video exposing me oh. and doing this holy thing. And I was like, oh, you know what? All right, cool. Like, I, I didn't know we rolled, rolled that way. So, so I just started keeping it low key. And then, um, you know, we'll see what happens. What is the training process like? Training process every day, like over. I, I don't want to say too much, but I'm I'm working hard. So TikTok, you are crushing it on TikTok. Uh, is that where you started? Was that like the first platform for you? No, or? actually. Well, yes and no. Okay. I had it since 2015. So I did Musically and Instagram and YouTube mm -hmm. in 2015. Um, I got my first like juice up, I guess, or like you know so social media like mm -hmm. attention from Musically. Um, and then I kind of like plateaued and then started going down. And then 2019 is when TikTok really got juicy. Mm -hmm. And I was like one of the first like, you know, heavy hitters on there. And there's also an adorable kid who's in a lot of your videos. <laughs> who, so he's, who is he exactly? Uh, he's my little brother. He's six. His okay. name's Jonathan. I have uh, three siblings, Jonathan, Tiffany is my older, uh, my little sister, but she's, you know, second oldest. And then Daniel, he's four. And what were you doing before even Musical.ly, before making content, or were you always making content as long as you had a phone? Uh, I worked as a tutor for a after-school program. Wow. And then I worked with my dad at a, a, an embroidery and like screen printing. So like yeah. how you make like uniforms for like say Target if they bought whatever. Yeah. So I did that, I slaved that for like, it wasn't even nine to five. It was because it was my dad's business. Yeah. It was just me there, basically. Oh, really? I was like there from like nine to ten. Yes. Oh, I used to be—I used to be a dance choreographer too. Really? So yeah, I used to—I uh, used to teach at like Millennium. That was like, a big like dance studio. Have you always been dancing all your life? No, I danced since I was uh, when I was little. I danced with my uncle Jeff. Uh, so I was like maybe five or six at the time. I danced for like a year, then I stopped, and then I got back into it when I was twelve. Um, and then from 12 on, I stuck with it completely. And after like two years, I became professional. Wow. Uh, started doing music videos with like all, cause in my, I, was, I lived in Miami, like Florida. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of my gigs were like with Latin artists. So like Dad Yankee, we seen Ricky Martin. Uh, I did Chris Brown for my first job in LA. Uh, so I was like, I was like really pretty doing decent in like. Yeah, day. my next question for you was gonna be like, what was your craziest collab or have you ever been <laughs> starstruck? But like, I think that pretty much solves it. Yeah, yeah, no, it was it was cool. Chris Brown was definitely a highlight. I mean, he, he was super chill, but after that, like, 
I started getting used to seeing famous people, mm -hmm. and I started feeling, like, oh, they're just people that work hard too, you know? Yeah. So it started becoming more normal. Hustle recognizes hustle. Yeah, exactly. There it is. Oh my God, Michael, <laughs> it was so great chatting with you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Of course, of course. Um, And can you tell fans where they can find you? Yeah, uh, Just Michael, J-U-S-T-M-A-I-K-O, on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it.